Have you heard the news? This week, the United States Supreme Court released four opinions, one of which is of particular interest to landowners everywhere. If you haven't, well, let Dell do the tell. The case of Nick versus the Township of Scott, Pennsylvania, was brought down on the side of the landowner in a 5-4 split decision for which people in the media call the conservative bloc voting for the property owner and the liberal bloc voting for the government. What was that issue was whether or not under the Fifth Amendment, the county, the city or government, township, can take person's property under the due process. There was a local ordinance, as revealed in the case, that required all graveyards, whether it be on public or private land, to have access granted to them. According to reports, Ms. Nix said that she had some rocks on her property, some stones on her property. The government said, no, that is in fact a graveyard, and they took her land. Under the Pennsylvania ordinance, Pennsylvania law, any appeal disputing this would have to go through the state level before going to the federal level. And what that basically means, if you want to think about it, the inference, you have the landowner and the government that took their land appealing to the government that took her land. Whether it be a political subdivision, as in the case of a township or the state itself, it would still require that the first appeal, any kind of discussion on it, would have to go through the state level. And a lot of people look at it like, well, I have to go back to the government that took my land. What are my odds of succeeding in this endeavor? And it would be expenses and legal costs, the whole nine yards. So perhaps it was to dissuade people from fighting the government's acquisition of their property. What has now been resolved is that according to the Supreme Court, this case, overturning a previous case, now, a landowner who has their land taken from them may go to the federal court, which puts the government that took it and the person having the land in the scales with the federal government holding them. So, if this type of news item is interesting to you, this is a new, this is a new uh, a Twitter account. What do you call it? Click, like, and subscribe on YouTube. Well, in this case, retweet and follow Dale Delbridge. We appreciate you watching.